exactly. You literally put yourself in a position where you're like, come to me about your great ideas. And you sit there and millions of people watch you make millions of dollars. What, uh, which offer do you kick yourself for not taking? You know, um, and it's legendary now. The guy that had Ring. Ring, I saw this oh, on no. YouTube, God. actually. You Jamie. turned down Ring? No, I didn't turn down Ring. It's exactly <laughs> what happened, because we're friends now, and he's the number two guy at Amazon now. He sold his company to Amazon for billions, right? So everybody passed. He wanted 600000 I said, okay, listen. You know, your valuation's crazy, but I really like you, and I'll give you the $600,000 as a loan for three years. You know, not an outrageous interest rate, but I want two and a half percent of the company and I want some warrants, you know, and I want some advisor shares and yada, yada, yada. But then you'll get a Shark Tank deal. I'll give you 600,000. He says, no. I said, you really should think about that. He said, nah, <laughs> I'm not going to think about it. So I would have made about $800 million. Oh. Oh. So, so I, oh. we, every year, <laughs> every year to celebrate our relationship because I've stayed in touch with them because we're good friends now we meet on at the 4th of July on Nantucket Island and we host this big lunch um, on the on the 5th the morning after the 4th and we bring our families we have a great time and he just grinds it into me every time <laughs> you know, but, but what did he not like about that deal I'm curious he didn't like that he was scared of debt and I needed certainty that I'd get my capital back it wasn't guaranteed I'd get it back if he wasn't successful so I said listen at least I'm getting a return and you're giving me a little piece of the company for free to give you support and you got a Shark Tank deal. He yep. said, I don't want debt. I'm scared of debt. I said, either you're going to make it or you're going to fail. Like, if you fail, I lose my 600K. I'm taking that chance. But I want to be at the top of the cap table when I'm debt. I get paid first. You know, it's not a royalty, but it's interest. And you got to pay me back the 600 in three years, which you could have done in two seconds because the company was wildly successful. But I like the guy. But his value, you know, the valuation was stupid. He was offering like 2% for 600,000 bucks. Forget it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I want 30%. I, I, I have a quick question because I, I feel like many people think this about billionaires. 600,000 doesn't seem like that much to possibly lose. Why do you care about getting your money back? You know, I, I learned, um, my mother taught me something. If you ever disrespect money, you won't have any. It's mm. karma. I, every dollar I make, I kill myself to make it and I don't want to lose it. I cry like a baby when I lose 10 bucks. Like the other, the other day I realized I forgot when I flew back from Dubai that I didn't have my, you know, my, my, my frequent flyer number on that ticket and I lost like 400 bucks. So I spent two hours calling the airline saying, I want my ticket back. I want wow. my ticket back. I'm crazy that way. Wow. I want value. I want value. And I don't, I want to respect what my mother taught me about this that I, you know, every single dollar is hard to make. And if you don't respect it, you're going to lose it. I don't, I don't waste money. I don't do stupid things. Like when I buy a watch, I'm buying it because I think it's going to appreciate in value. Yeah. And it does. Yeah. I don't waste my dough on crap. That's wow. the way I look at it. So I care about 600000 And, you know, can I afford to lose it? Yes. But do I want to lose it? Fuck no. That's a lot of money. It's still a lot of money. <laughs> 600000 is still a lot of money. Well, it's also a slippery slope when you're, when you're seeing that type of deal flow as well. Because if you start... Uh, ignoring, you know, success metrics and just throwing 600K here, 600K there, all of a sudden you're just putting money into anything. And so he probably has a, you probably have rigid guidelines around how you invest your money and that's what keeps you in those. It's an intuitive feel. The other day I, I split the tab at a very uh, famous place here in Miami. I won't mention what, what it is. And I, look, and I won't say because, because I, I looked at it and I said, wait a second, this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. So, and, and I'm, I know the owner very well. So, and I said to the guy, I, was, I said, look, before we leave, you, you got you to look at this tab. This just isn't, it didn't intuitively feel right. Mm. And sure enough, there was an error in there. They did triple charges for the wine or whatever Whoa. it was. It's just, you, you get this intuitive feeling when you're getting screwed. And you just, <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like, I don't Do want to be taking- did that on purpose? I don't think so. I think it was a, a valid mistake, but I said, you know, no disrespect, but I'm calling you out on it. I want you to go back. I want you to check out because I had a whole table. I probably had 25 people at this thing. And I said, there's something wrong here. There's just, I just feel it in my bones. Should have took him out behind the barn. No, but you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to respect his go check it. He came back and said, yes, it's on us. I said, I'm still paying for the meal. I don't want free anything. Okay. I don't want to owe you anything. I just want to be charged what I thought I was going to be charged from your menu. And we, we cleared it out and I'm still going to go back. We're still friends. But 
you know, don't try and fuck me. Like that's, that's like, I, I just, I have a spider sense about that. And if I find out you did it intentionally, I'll rock your world in a way you have no fucking idea. Don't screw me. That's, it's not a threat. It's a fact. Dude, you just scared Dude, the shit, scared out, the of shit out of me. I'm frightened. Like, <laughs> don't, don't try and, and, and screw me. I just, or it won't be wonderful. It, I will not be Mr. Wonderful. I'll, I'll, I'll bring some interesting bring aspects. The bar. No, I'll bring, I'll bring some interesting aspects to your life. What is I'll that? Do, like a machete? No, you know, you, you, <laughs> I don't, ricin. I don't need to be liked. I need to be respected. I, and I do the same for everybody else I work with. Yeah.